Hey guys, Smack from Smackrock here, and today is a guide on how to level through Draenor a lot more efficiently, and that is going to be the best thing that I'm going to show you right now. So for this guide, you are going to need a couple things. At the very least, two Elixir of the Rapid Mine. You are also going to need a full set of BOAs level to 100. You are also going to need... I mean, it's not that necessary because it's only 5%, but extra EXP is always good EXP. If you have both rings, um, it should be... Uh, let's check this out real quick. Uh, the Dread Pirate Ring, because you can't wear two of the Shipyard Rings, which is, this is one of the Shipyard Rings. Uh, there should be guides on WoWhead, I am not going to get into that, but yeah, you should have that. And you should also have a very important one, uh, which is your Pathfinder Achievement. I apologize, if you don't have this, it will completely dramatically pound you in the ass in terms of efficiency. So yeah, that is the first segment, and we're going to take it in and show you how to clobber this shit. Oh, and one more thing, by the way, in the description is going to show you a list of add-ons you're going to need to make life so much easier, showing you all the little treasures that are basically going to trump quest EXP gain, because each treasure with these BOAs on you is going to give you about the same, if not more, EXP than what you would get from a quest completion, on top of a reward from the treasure that will sell more than whatever you get from a quest. So, you are going to be making a nice sum of gold, and you're also going to be leveling fast. Alright, I'm level 92 because the beginning is very easy. All you gotta do is do the quest, get to Frostfire or Shadowmoon Valley. Once there, you make your garrison, get your hearthstone, and that is it. Then it's nothing but getting treasures and getting your objectives done, your bonus objectives. And that's it. You'll be 92, head to Gorgon, and then you can follow the rest of this guide. Done. Okay hey guys, to the main part of the guide. So, bonus objectives. What are they? What should we do with them? They are an area on the map that will shit out up an abundance of EXP and some gold. Now, the whole point of making this guide efficient and using these potions properly, because they're only 15 minutes long, you're going to want to go in each bonus objective and make sure you leave one thing undone. In this case, the simplest and the easiest thing to take care of and waste barely any time of the potion. Now let's get into explaining on how we're going to do this. Okay, so now that everything is pretty much ready to go, as you can see, we're going to wrap around and we're going to end right there okay so here we go Once you complete that, that was about 4 minutes and 35 seconds to get from 92 to 95. You utilize the rest of the time in this area to just collect your beloved treasures. I mean, if that's not ridiculous, I don't know what is. You're getting 37k EXP a treasure. From here, we're going to push into Talador. And I will show you how to do that as well. Back again. Alright, so you have completed the treasure gathering after you have wiped out all the bonus objectives inside of Gorgrond. You should have snagged all of those treasures and get up to about 68%, which is good. But you have to finish off that 68%, so what you're going to do is just head over to Talador and just bang out... Um, gathering treasures and finishing the bonus objectives which should take about 20 minutes and maybe a little more depending on uh, how uh, fast you are and what class you're running but for the most part uh, it'll it really won't take much time just finish it off do the bonus objectives and then once we, you hit 96 we will see you in Spires of Rock and I will show you what to do from there if I haven't borne you half to death yet, well, this is uh, trying to make this as fast as possible. Mm, okay, so now that you're in Spires, turn in that little stupid quest, and now open your map. This is what's going to have to be uh, kept in mind. There is these little offerings to the Raven Mother. There's about like six, I'd say, maybe five, I don't know. Anyway, you pick those up. 
you were going to save those and pocket them for they give you rest of the XP and there's no um, level requirement technically. You can use those on that character once you're level 99 to give you about 20 to 25% of rest of the XP in 99 so you will be able to push 100 a lot faster. Back again. Alright, so the first spot you want to start off on after snagging all the bonus objectives and making sure that you've left one objective in that bonus objective to complete. Uh, there's one area that you guys might have missed, I'm not sure, but I couldn't see it on my map. It's the Howling Crag. Yeah, the Howling Crag. And uh, for some reason I couldn't find it. I, uh, But I was more than certain that there was more than three bonus objectives located in the Spires of Iraq. And sure enough, there was. Okay, so we're going to pop our potions now, and we are going to fly from the Howling Crag. And then we are going to swirl right around here to Bladefist Hold, then to the Withering Mire, and then lastly to southern end of Southport. So it took us exactly 4 minutes and 35 seconds to go from 92 to 95. So now we're going to reset that, pop the potion, and begin. <laughs> Okay, so now that all of the bonus objectives are once again completed, we are now going to level us off with the remainder of the potion by picking up all the treasures in sight, and then we will get back to you in the Nagrant. Oh my god, can I make it? Can I make it? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. 24 seconds. 24 seconds. Oh my god. Bam! 99! That's what I'm talking about. That is exactly what I'm talking about. That, that right there... That was some speed. I'm agile, motherfucker. I'm agile. All right, now you just got to hearth, or sorry, grab your quest to Nagran, and hearth on down to your garrison, and fly on over. See you in Nagran. All right, now we're finally level 99. We are in Nagran. We kicked that ass. And you also managed to gather the offerings of the Raven Mother. This is going to give you extra exp so you have the choice you can do it now and you know make it seem like hundred isn't gonna take forever or what you, you can do what i do you can just fly around don't even do a fucking quest you're out of your mind if you if you think about doing quests Ooh, excuse me so you're basically just here to just pick up all your treasures and then the last twenty percent of uh, of 99 just pop these bitches that's it done bang out pressed out damn it's crazy right how fast this shit goes i'd say like the the amount of time i've spent trying to put this together for you guys and do this as you know correctly as possible without error i mean i did make a couple mistakes but i still managed to do this properly and you know maintain speed which is totally awesome i'm so glad i got to uh finally show you know the community this and I, i'm really hoping that i get some positive feedback for you know taking the initiative to be a little creative with uh leveling and draenor hope you guys like this um and the last thing that we should probably focus on is getting back to you just to you know make victory a little more sweet at a hundred and yeah so catch you guys in a sec my god, what a hell of a time that was. The timer I've had running this whole time, the moment I cut the clip, just to say, uh, let me take care of this business and get to 100. Now, we are finally going to use the way I do, of course, is uh, the offerings from the Raven Mother. Kind of did it a little too late, I guess. Thanks. Spires of Iraq has an area where you can get, like, a that special garrison ability kind of thing 
like how in Gore Run you can get like a Shredder or a Fight Club, and you know, you, you get the point. Uh, Spires has this home away from home. You can wowhead it. Just wowhead home away from home. It's an innkeeper that gives you an additional Hearthstone, and it gives you 20% experience gain in Spires. On top of uh, a potion you can also get from your garrison for a certain amount of uh, garrison resources. It's a potion of, of accelerated learning, I believe that's the name of it. You can also snag that, and yes, they do stack, so that'll be 40%. So technically, I'm a monk. I should have used my monk buff to, like, you know, give you guys that holy shit, look how fast this guy's leveling. But that wouldn't have been fair, I guess you can say. Sometimes people forget, so I was just kind of giving you the idea that this is what it is without everything. Just as, just showing you the power of the potions that I was rocking. So we're actually about to bang out this this big nice number in such a short amount of time I would say from 90 to 100 it, it took me about three and a half to four hours and mind you I really deserve a pat on the back of some sorts because I lost my goddamn mind I lost my goddamn mind trying to get through the struggle of having an audio issue my setup is pretty old so the struggle with dealing with the fact that I have a USB microphone and it being the snowball and my motherboard being very old, this recent update with uh, Windows has actually did something with um, my motherboard. And since my motherboard is so goddamn old, I couldn't really get it going. But that's besides the point. I'm just really glad that I got to show you guys something that I came across and hopefully you guys can manipulate this in a way where it'll be even faster than what I've shown you because obviously you guys are just going to take this as a frame of reference and then just add additional stuff to it because I don't have that extra BOA that you guys probably have and yada 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 well anyway that's besides the point I have nailed a hundred as requested and showed you guys the best of my ability hope you guys found this helpful and thank you for watching please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys enjoy the content it would really mean a lot because we do need some support Drop down comments in below if you need help. And best thing to do as well, if you need any of our handy dandy little add-ons, those will also be in the description as well. And once again, thank you for watching. Take it easy, guys. Subscribe, motherfucker! Just subscribe! Just, just...